Hey, sister, get away from that white man. You can do better than that white man. Man, you the damn devil, man. Hey, hey, you you using him, huh? What you say, what? What is, what does he do for you? What, why do you Money. see color? I'm not talking to you. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not why talking to you. Color? I'm not why talking to you. Color? What? What? Okay, we live in America, why right? What, what? What? What's your nationality? I am black. See you, but who? Who? who watch this. Who called you black? No, the white man called you black. So I ain't gonna tell me not to see color, but yet they call us a color. Does that make sense? All right, man. Prove that the Bible's not real. Prove, no, prove, no, I, brother, you my elder. Prove to me that the Bible's not real so I can stop believing in it. I get my shit from the youth. You said what? From the youth. You get your shit from the youth? We supposed to get it from you, though. That's backwards. That's backwards. We supposed to get it from you. You, we, I'm supposed to come to you and say, brother, I'm supposed to say, brother, lead me in the right way. And that's why elders have felt us, man. Because you got on love God. But if you don't love God, you just said no, man. No. Her homegirl said no. Oh, and look, y'all gonna be looking for a man of God in that day. You won't find one, man. Y'all right. don't love God? Oh, you love God? But, but the Bible said that no God is to keep his commandments. And you saw people, they quit to say they know God, but yet they don't keep one law in the Bible, man. All you women that want to make money on them OnlyFans, hey, look, they damn uh, banned Pornhub in Texas, man. Right. Right. So how, how, you, how you women gonna sell your booty online when they banning everything, man? You gonna get right in the day of the Lord. You gonna get put to death, man. Job and Kawhi on the track, stepping, we running it back. I just might run up a rack, pushing the P, prophecy coming in packs. Put Space City on the map, don't keep the law, nigga, don't give me no doubt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't keep the law, nigga, don't give me no doubt. Shout out to my brother, salute, it's a car recruiting, you might wanna get with the movement. Having this motion, we drip like the ocean and step on the heathen whenever we do it. Know that I'm blessed, he always drinking and making a mess. Foremost, right. want to give all honor, glory, and power to the Most High God Yahweh. We do so by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. This is in the name of the word in the call Jesus Christ, right? That's so, right. give me the book of uh, Psalm chapter 36 and verse 1. Give me the book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 6, man. Right? right? So, the problem with you so called black Spanish Native Americans that we've been seeing all night, that we've been seeing all week, is that you so called black Spanish Native Americans do not fear God at all, man. You always want to say you love God. You want to say you love, you believe in Jesus, but yeah, you don't do a damn thing that the Lord say, man. Right? Give me that um, Psalms 36. Bring it up. It's the book of Psalms 36, verse 1. Uh -huh. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God. Right? Understand. That's how we see in our communities, man. There is no fear of God. Because you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you actually fear God, you will be up here trying to get the words right now, man. You would not be smoking weed. You would not be getting drunk, man. You got a question? What is our purpose? Give me the book of Cleese I see chapter uh chapter verse 13. You got it? Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and Give verse me, uh, number 13. It says, no, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right, so we're gonna hear the conclusion of the whole matter, right? Read. Fear God and keep his commandments right but this is the whole duty of man so your whole duty being here on this planet brother is for you to keep god's commandments and to have faith in christ pretty much obeying god that's that's the whole conclusion of everything that you see going on right because would you understand do you understand why we're in the position that we're in right now now going on our communities like why we in slavery why we here in america we don't know who we are we're not the richest you know what i'm saying do you know why we're going through these things no, give me the book of Durham chapter 28 real quick. But give me, uh, before you get that, give me that Durham, uh, what's your 25? Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 5. Uh -huh. And I turned myself no, and came. Sorry. No, 12, 12. 12? Yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Right, so we're going to see what the Lord God required of you, brother. What's your name? Tony. Tony? I'm Zachariah, right? So we're going to see what the Lord required of you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, right. to walk in all his ways, and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right, so you got to serve God with all your heart and with all thy soul. And serving God is more than just saying, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus. It's an action that goes behind it, right? We're going to read that for you. Read. 
Verse 13. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Right, to, to keep the commandments of the Lord, right? When you're saying we look at communities, why we how we eat pork, sugar, crab, and lobster, how we got now the reason why we let's, let me, my bad. We eat a lot of pork, sugar, crab, and lobster. God told us not to eat those things. Why well, think we got heart attacks? We have strokes, we die at a young age, we got all these health problems because we eat foods God told us not to eat. When you look at the crime in our community, God told us not to kill each other. God told us not to steal from another. God told us to not be jealous of one another. So when you see all the communities that's going, all the problems going on in our communities, it's all happening because we don't do the things that are written in the Bible. We do everything else outside of it, and we wonder why we're in the bottom, we're in the hoods, we're in the ghettos, right? So your whole purpose, brother, being on this earth, that God made you, he gave you a purpose, is to do what? Obey him and to keep his commandments. Once you do that, then we're going to be on top. Then you're not going to have to worry about anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, I'm going to prove to you why. Um, give me that. Do number 28. Stop working. Uh, 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. No, read verse 1 real quick. Verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God, he said that once the Israelites, once we start doing the commandments, right, then he's going to set us on high above every nation on the planet earth. So where you're not going to have to work no more. You're not going to see blacks and Hispanics getting gunned down in the street. You're not going to be seeing blacks and Hispanic kids going missing. Right. You're not going to see domestic violence in our own neighborhoods. Right. All these things goes away once we start keeping these commandments of the Lord. That's now I'm right. going to show you what happened. Give me verse 15. Verse 15, uh -huh. it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. So meaning it will happen. There's going to come a time where we stop keeping these commandments and start doing whatever it is that we want to do. When that happened, read. It says that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So once you got the blessings and the curses, you obey, you get blessed. But if you disobey, you're going to get cursed. Now we're going to read some of these curses. And I'm going to ask you, who do these fit? Give me the, um, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Right, so the first curse, curse shall I be in the city, right? Now we look all over America. Every city in America, how are blacks and the Spanish living? Are we living blessed or are we living cursed? We live in curse, right? You live in a community where there's trash going around. You hear gunshots. It's heavily policed, right? All the buildings are torn down or damn near abandoned. Curse should I be in the city, read. And curse should I be in the field. And also on the field, right? Who is on the cotton fields the sun of the sundown? The tomato fields, or even today, because what, um, what are you, you black, Hispanic, native? You Hispanic, right? When we look at like how Hispanics work today, right? You know what I'm saying? Who got the worst jobs in Spanish, right? They got y'all in the kitchens. They got y'all picking uh, strawberries for like five cents of strawberry. Curse shall I be in the city and curse shall I be in the field. We look over there in Mexico, like Tia and all over. Some of them that got running water. Some of my houses got no roofs on it. You got the cartels with a lot of violence over there. Curse shall I be in the city and the field because what? We don't keep the commandments of the Lord. Give me verse, uh, give me verse uh, 54. Now give me verse, uh, what's that, 50, uh, 45. Verse 45, uh -huh. it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee so thou be destroyed mm -hmm. because thou hearkenest not to the voice of the Lord thy God keep on. to keep his commandments and the statutes which he commanded thee. Keep on. It says, And these curses shall be upon well, give thee. Give me uh, verse, uh, the stranger that's went through. Give me verse 53, I mean 43, 43. Con, verse 43. All right, so watch this, brother. Read. It says, The stranger that is within thee, it says, shall get above thee very high. All right, so another curse is that the. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We noticed that we get a lot of views versus the subscriptions we have. So if you guys are checking out the content and you like the content, even if you don't like the content, support the movement, like, share, subscribe, and comment so it could boost us in the algorithm and more people can get this spiritual food, right? Help a brother out, help us, help you, help the nation. When you see the video, subscribe to the video, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. That boosts the algorithm and it makes more people see our content. So don't dine and dash and sub for free. And help us out and make a payment by like and sharing the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscription button. It's free. We're not charging you nothing, right? Right. And also, man, we got many different uh, social media. Okay. I'm Officer Dawala. I'm asking y'all to follow us, right? So we got a uh, new TikTok. A TikTok is Sakari.space.city. Also, we got many different social medias, followers, right? So you know about our YouTube page, the Car Space City. 
follow our back with a uh, breakdown of the milk. That's Car HTX. Uh, we got music coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, follow the Instagram. Instagram Safari Space City. Know y'all been waiting for the music. We see, we see the comments. We got a music channel that's coming soon, so stay, stay, uh, stay locked in. Right, and also, uh, I'll check right here. Yeah, we got our cash up to car in Houston. Right, and with our cash up, we use the money to help brothers, you know, get back to the homeless, get new flyers, camp signs, and help with travel expenses to spread the word. And also, if you're on fan base, our fan base is Safari Space City. Anybody that's welcome to come in, you know, you come in and deal, even if you have contention, you know, we build together on that, right? So with that, Kahala, Yaha, Bashem, Yaha, Shah, Shalom. Shalom. Oh, great. It's strange, y'all don't love God? No. But if you're a little guy, you just said no, man. Yeah, her, her homegirl said no. Her homegirl said no. Oh, and look, y'all gonna be looking for a man of God in that day. You won't right. find one, man. Right? So understand, right? So the Bible said the stranger that's when anything should get over every high. Now, when we look at before the conquistadors came over here, y'all had all the land, right? Y'all had the gold, the rubies, everything. Y'all had kingdoms, y'all had kings. Y'all was living good, right? But when the conquistadors came over here, they took all that, it became very high. Now we look at all these skyscrapers, right? Who own all these buildings, the so-called white man? You see everybody out here spending their money. Who are they spending their money to? The so-called white man, right? But it's really blacks and Hispanics who are kicked through this country go together, right? Can we look at the construction? Who mainly in constructions was so-called Hispanics? You got a Hispanic man working over 40 hours to build all these nice buildings. It's not for him, it's for who? The so-called white man, right? They got a very high, if you want to get an ed education, you go to who? The so-called white man. If you want to get a job, you go to who? The so-called white man. If you want to get a loan, who you go to? The so-called white man. For clothes, everything you, you do in this nation to the so-called white man in the land that brother you used to own, man. Right, read? It says, Tlaki, the stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Right, so it said the white man, right, he's going to be very high, and we're going to be very low. Read? It says, he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Right, he shall lend to us, but we shall not lend to him. Cause name what? Name me something that the white man go to the black man for nothing, man. Even in the, in, the, in the NBA, right? I'm saying we the reason why there's an NBA, but who makes all the money from the so-called white man? We look at baseball. You got a lot of Mexicans, Salvadorians, Dominicans. They they running the game, but who's making all the money? The so-called white man, right? Cause we came low and he came high. Give me verse 49. It says verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. For another curse is that he's going to say a nation against thee from far. Now, when we look at the journey from Spain to America, that's the far journey. We had the white man, the conquistador, got on a ship to come all the way over here, a nation from afar. Read. From the end of the earth, uh -huh. as swift as the eagle fly. Right, as swift, because the conquistador is where he had an eagle on his flag on them ships. We live here in America. What's the national bird? An uh, eagle. It's letting you know that the people that's going to be doing these things against us, right? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right, because before English and Spanish, what language did your people uh, speak? See, we don't know, right? A nation whose tongue thou shalt not know. Read. A nation of fierce continents, uh -huh. which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor shoot favor to the young. Cause when they came over here, they didn't say, you know what, all the whole, all, um, all the elderly Hispanics and young Hispanics, we're not going to kill them. No, they killed the old, they killed the young, they killed the in-between, the handicapped, the sick. Anybody that was over here, they killed, regardless of age, regardless of status, right? Showing you that all these things happen because, what, we disobey God's law, right? So, give me, I'm going to give you one more. Give me verse 68. It's Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, so do you know what the Israelites are doing in Egypt during the time period of Moses? No, give me the book of uh, Judah chapter... You know, how, how would you got? Give me the book of Judah chapter 5 and verse 11. Can I get you a flyer? Take a flyer real quick. I'll pray to the most high. So I'm going to show you what the Israelites are doing in Egypt so we can understand this Bible verse, right? Can we look at every nation on the planet Earth? It's only one nation of people who fit the things we just read to a T. That's right. Give me that, Judah 5 and 11. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 11. Right. Therefore the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt subtly with them and brought them low with laboring in brick and made them slaves. Right, and made them slaves. Real quick, give me the book of Exodus, chapter 1, and verse 11, right? So we got one account of how when we was in Egypt during the time period of Moses, and they did what? They brought us low, similar how it is in America, and they made us slaves. I'm going to get you one more. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 11. Right. Therefore they did set over them 
them test masters. Right, so we read the account of ancient Egypt. They said over them test masters. The same word is used to say what? A slave master. So in the ancient days in Egypt, we had slave masters just like how here in America. Blacks and the Spanish, we had slave masters. Read. To afflict them with their burdens uh -huh. and built for Pharaoh treasure cities. Right, just how we built the cities for Pharaoh. Who built the cities for the so-called? Y'all love God? You love God? But, but the Bible said that no God is to keep his commandments. And you saw people, they quit to say they know God, but yet they don't keep one law in the Bible, man. Right, so it says in ancient Egypt that we had slave masters, that we built cities just out here in America. We had slave masters, and everything you see was built by what? A so-called black and Hispanic, read. Right. Fithom and Ramses. Uh-huh. But the more they afflicted them, they multiplied and grew. Right. They were grieved because of the children of Israel. Right, so understand, they grieved because of the children of Israel, right? So read that one more time. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, so Egypt again, right? How we were slaves in Egypt. The Lord said he's going to send us back to that, but read. With ships. With what? With ships. Right, with, so this time you're going to go into slavery on a ship. Now, how did blacks and Spanish go into slavery? Well, on ships. The Spaniards, they came over here. They took y'all on ships, and they took y'all back to Spain. They took y'all back to Portugal. Just how the so-called black man, they took us from Africa, and they brought us over here all on what? A cargo slave ship. Read. It says, By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold to your enemies. Right, so whenever them ships landed, it says that you shall be sold unto your enemies. Who was sold to their enemies? What, who? So-called blacks and the Spanish, right? And who were we sold to? Who brought us off them ships? The white man, right? And But the Bible calls them what? Your enemies. That's why you see here, the police force where they kill us with so-called white people. They go to court and they say, no, we're not guilty. He was scared for his life. It's the same thing all over again. We shall be sold to our enemies, read. For bond men and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. And we said no man shall buy you, meaning what? No man shall save you out this position. But we've been here in America for over 400, 500 years, going through the same thing. Martin Luther King tried. A Harriet Tubman try. A lot of people have tried to make our situation better, but they all fail. Because the person that's going to make our situation better is Christ. But for that to happen, we got to come back to this Bible, who we are, keep the laws, and have faith in Christ. That's right. Right? You got another question? Any question, brother? So, uh, what do you call it when we like mixed children? Say it again? Mixed children. Is that bad? Giving the book of um, Numbers 1 to 18, right? So the whole concept of a mixed children, that's really an American concept, but it's not really a biblical concept. So I'm going to show you how you determine who somebody um, is, right? Uh, give me that. It's the book of Numbers, 1 verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. It says, they declared their pedigree after their families by the house of their father. Yeah, by the house of their father, right? So the man, he's the one that carried the seed. So like say you take an apple seed, you can plant it in Japan, you can plant it in Europe, you can plant it wherever, it's still gonna be an apple, right? So say if like, it's gonna look different, right? It might have like certain characteristics, but yet it's still gonna be an apple. So say if a Mexican man had a child with a uh, white lady, that child is still Mexican, right? If a Chinese man had a child with a Japanese woman, that child is gonna be what, Chinese? It's based off the seed, based on who the father is, right? That's why even um, when you look at um, biology, you got the woman, she has a placenta, and the placenta is what separates the blood in the baby from her blood so it doesn't um, kill it. But when you look at uh, sperm, it already has the DNA, it already has blood and heart. Everything that a human needs to grow is already in a sperm because what? You are what your father are. So as far as mixture, the only people that God said we can't mix with is the Canaanites. And we're going to read it out the Bible. Read uh, Deuteronomy 7 and verse, uh, start at verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 1. Read up. Read up. When the Lord thy God shall bring them into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perserites, Pesites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou right so these are the seven nations of canaan these are the only people that god said we can um mix with right and today this would be like primarily like your south africans you do got a few in west africa right but mostly the south africans god said that those are the only people that we can't get with be, read verse three real quick verse three neither shall thou make marriages with them uh -huh. thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son nor his daughter shall take unto thy son. 
right? So I understand. So the only people can't get with the Canaanites, but even though you can have babies with white people and all this stuff, we we always say chiefly you need to get with a sister of your own nation. You got a lot of black and Hispanic women that need love from a black and Hispanic man. We get with them first, have children with them first. But it's not a sin to get with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love God. Do y'all love God? So you take money over God? Give me the book of Proverbs chapter one and verse fourteen. Give me the book of Ze uh, Ze um, Zephaniah chapter one and verse eighteen real quick. Give me that real quick. This is the book of Chop the book of Proverbs chapter one verse fourteen. No, eleven, eleven and four. Eleven and four. Yeah, my bad. This is the book of Proverbs chapter eleven verse four. Uh -huh. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. What the Lord say? Riches profit not in the day of the rest. All right, so all y'all y'all want to choose money over God? Guess what? The Lord go kill you, man. Right. The Lord go destroy you, man. The Lord kill millionaires. The Lord kills billionaires, That's and the Lord right. kill a damn homeless person, man. The Lord don't give a damn, man. Right. Read that one more time. Riches profit not in the day of rest. Right. All you women that want to make money on damn OnlyFans, hey, look, they damn uh banned Pornhub in Texas, exactly. man. That's right. That's right. So how right. how you women go sell your booty online when they banning everything, man? <laughs> You gonna get right in the day of the Lord. You gonna get put to death, man. You got more on that? Read. But the righteousness delivered from death. You right, so righteousness is gonna save in his last days, not having a whole lot of money, man. Give me that Zephaniah 1 that started verse 18. The book of Zephaniah 1 verse 18. Right. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them mm -hmm. in the day of the Lord's wrath. Right, because you can't go up to the Lord and say, no, Lord, I got a million dollars. Please don't kill me. You can't go to the Lord and say, Lord, I got all this money. Please save me. No, the Lord will kill you, man. Right. I understand that. Give the book of Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 10 real quick, man. Read it up. Proverbs 8 and 10. There's the, there's the book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 10. Right. Receive my instruction uh -huh. and not silver. Right. And knowledge rather than choice gold. Right. So the Lord said, choose knowledge and choose wisdom over damn money, man. Right. You understand? Verse 11, read. Wisdom is better than rubies. Right. The Lord say wisdom is better than rubies, man. Because you can have all this money, but yeah, if you ain't got wisdom, guess what? All that money gonna go down the drain, man. Right. If you ain't got wisdom, you don't know how to invest that money and to make more money with it, man. You just gonna be a damn dog out here with no damn money trying to get saved. And look, it ain't gonna happen, man. Read. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Right, and you can't compare nothing to wisdom, man. Right, wisdom is what? It's your protection, man. Wisdom is going to save your life in these last days, man. Not money, not selling yourself on OnlyFans, man. Right, you women talking about y'all valuable, but yeah, your OnlyFans is five ninety nine. You sitting here telling people you worth five ninety nine to see you naked, man. How am I supposed to take you serious, man? <clears throat> Drop that. Give me, uh, give me Proverbs, uh, Give me uh, Psalms 36 and verse 1. Give me that in uh, Malachi 1 and verse 6. It's like it, bro. You had any more questions? No, no. no. I right, praise you, man. Yeah, you can't. How you started? You can't take a piece of paper, man. If a little baby was out here selling. No, right, give me that. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 6. Uh huh. A son honoreth his father, a servant his master. Right. If then I be a father. Where is my honor? Right, and God said, you all want to say, God is my father, right? And she said, if, if, if I'm your father, where's my honor, man? You talking about blacks and Spanish and Americans, you don't honor the Lord. How can we tell by your actions every day, man? Right, read. And if I be master, where is my fear? Right, and God said, if I be your master, where's the fear, man? You so-called blacks and Spanish don't fear the Lord, man. Y'all take the Lord as a joke, man. Y'all think God loves everybody? You think God knows my heart so I can do what I want to do? You think you can sin all day and God gonna let you make it? No, the Lord killed people for less, man. Right, right read that one more time, the last part. And if I be a master, where is my fear? Right, and that's the damn shame that the Lord, right? You understand, the Lord, everybody that dies on the earth, it dies by the hand of the Lord. And you got the Lord, this type of spiritual being, Asking, where's my honor, man? That's how stiff neck and rebellious you talk about blacks and Spanish are that the Lord got to sit here and ask, where's my honor and where's my fear? Read. Um. Said the Lord of hosts unto you, uh -huh. O priest, and despise my name. Like our people despise the word. How y'all doing? Y'all fear God? They can't even answer, man, because y'all don't fear God, man. Understand, right? Read, uh, it's like you read that part again. Said the Lord of hosts unto uh, you, right. O priest, 
that despise my name. Right, because you so called blacks and Hispanics, you despise the words of the Lord, man. Give them right. book Isaiah chapter 8 and verse, uh, chapter 30 and verse 8, man. Right, you despise the words of the Lord, man. And you so called white women, y'all going into slavery real soon, man. That's right. Read that. Psalms 36 and 1. The book of Psalms chapter 36 and verse 1. It says, It says, The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart, that there is no fear of God before his eye. Uh -huh. For he flattered himself in his own eye. How you doing, brother? You believe in the Bible? No, I don't. Why, why don't you believe in the Bible? Yeah, How ain't real? Come talk to me real quick. Let me prove that it's real. Wait, brother, prove, prove that it's not real. Prove that it's not real. Prove that the Bible is not real. Prove, no, prove, no, I, brother, you my elder. Prove to me that the Bible is not real so I can stop believing in it. You said what? From the you get your shit from the youth? We supposed to get it from you though. That's backwards. That's backwards. We supposed to get it from you. You, we, I'm supposed to come to you and say, brother. I'm supposed to say, brother, lead me in the right way. And that's why elders have feathers, man. That's why you got damn kids out here with damn guns, man, killing each other, man. You got kids out here trying to be men because you niggas feathers, man. That's right. All ass niggas want to feather so-called blacks in the Spanish, right? The Chinese man can go to his elders and ask for help. The East any man can go to his elders and ask for wills, man. But you so-called blacks and Spanish, we can't go to a damn elder for nothing because they don't know a damn thing, man. Right. Finish that. It says, for he flattered himself with his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Right, I understand. Read, read that again. It says, for he flattered himself in his own eyes. Right, that man right there flattered himself in his own eyes, man. You say, whatever you think you say, you think it's right, man. You want to say the Bible ain't real? Okay, show me that the Bible ain't real, man. And you can't do it because you know you're full of shit, man. Read. Until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Right, and his iniquity is hateful, man. Why is iniquity hateful? Because the simple fact that us brothers, right, the younger generation, right, we can't go to our elders for, for nothing, man. That's how his iniquity is found to be hateful. Read. Go to verse 4. Verse 4. It says, he deviseth mischief upon his bed. Uh -huh. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. Right, and our people, they set their stuff in a way that's not good, man. You want to be drug dealers and scammers, right? You want to be killers, game bangers, and all these other things, right? You set yourself in a way that's not right, and that's why you, you die every day, man. Give in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, and verse 3. Bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Uh -huh. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book. Uh huh that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Right, we That this is a rebellious people. Uh, what are people? A rebellious people. Right, you talk about black Spanish in America, you are a rebellious people, man. All, right. All you gotta do is just open up the book, see what God told us to do, look at our communities, and guess what? Everything is complete opposite because you are a rebellious people, man. From the time that God brought your butt up out of the land of Egypt until today in 2024, you have been rebellious against the words of the Lord. Read. Lying children. Right, lying children, man. You say you love God, but yet you don't, man. You say you believe in Jesus, but yet you don't, man. Hey, sister, get away from that white man. You can do better than that white man. Man, you the damn devil, man. Hey, hey, you you using him, huh? What you say, what? Oh, man. You love the white man? What did, what does he do for you? Why do you Money. see color? I'm not Why talking to you. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. What? What? Okay, we live in America, right? What? What? What's your nationality? I am black. See you, but who? Who? who watch this. Who called you black? No, the white man called you black. So how you gonna tell me not to see color, but yet they call us a color? Does that make sense? All right, man, that white man not going to save you. All right, know that, man. If I see you on that day, I'm taking everything I have, man. Give him the book of, drop everything you got. Give him the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 32. Give him the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 25, man. Right? You tell me not to see color, but we call ourselves black every day. That's a damn color, man. Right? Understand? When you look at the police report, they're going to ask you, well, is he black? Is he white? Right? Understand? The whole world is based off color, man. Uh, 20 and verse 32. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 32. Right. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. Uh -huh. That ye say, we will be as the heathen. Right, and that's what you so-called blacks and Spanish say, man. That's why you got a lot of you so-called blacks and Spanish running the wall, wearing green, 
celebrating St. Patrick's Day because you want to be like the heathen, man. That's why you celebrate Christmas. That's why you celebrate Easter. That's why you that's why you speak the white man language, got his name, because you want to be like the damn heathen, man. That's why you go to these damn colleges and join these sororities and these fraternities because you want to be like the damn heathen, man. Right. That's how you've been all through the Bible. You want to be like the damn white man, but yet you don't want to be what God calls you a damn king and God on this earth. Read. As the families of the of the countries uh -huh. to serve wood and stone. Right, you want to serve wood and stone, man. You want to serve white Jesus Christ, right? A lot of you so-called black Muslims celebrated Ramadan, and you damn failed in the first damn hour, man. Uh -huh. But you want to serve wood and stone, and then you know what I'm saying? That's not your culture at all, right? Read. Right. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, well, I rule over you. I right, say, so at the end of the day, the Lord, he not going to take them, man. If you don't want if you don't want to serve the Lord, guess what? He going to put you to death. You going to uh, be uh, regenerating the kingdom of heaven where you going to have no church but to serve the Lord because the Lord will rule over you, so-called blacks and Spanish, whether you want it or not, man. Uh, Give me that Jeremiah 2. Jeremiah 2, verse 25. Uh, Withhold thy foot from being unshod in thy throat from thirst. Uh -huh. But thou says there is no hope. Right, our people say there is no hope, man. Right, they says to say, you know what, there's no hope in me finding a strong black or Hispanic. Let me get with the damn old Greek the decrepit white man, man. Right. That's right here in the Bible. You say there is no hope, Greek. No, but I have loved strangers. Right, you love strangers, man. She sat up here and said what? I love the white man. Then she want to cl uh, clean up and say I love everybody. No, you know you love the damn white man to your own brothers, man. You got a question? You do look like a Jeffrey Dahmer, man. You look like damn Matt Hardy on heroin as well, man. <laughs> Going to hey, sister, put some clothes on. That's the reason why you should walk around with your hand like that, man. It's a damn shame. Hey, brother, to hey, brother, put your foot down and tell that girl to put some damn clothes on, man. Right. Run with you niggas, man. Read that. Says. For I have loved strangers, right. and after them will I go. Right, and after that white man, she would go, man. The white man probably got her doing all sorts of nasty things that the Lord told her not to do, man. And look, all, if you sitting here, you want to join him, give me uh, Proverbs, um, no, damn, screw that. Give me the book of um, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15, man. Bring that out. This is the book of 1 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 15. Uh, how be it all... The hit most of no, them. No, uh, second Maccabees. Second. So like second Maccabees four and fifteen. Mm -hmm. Give me that. I, I'm Come on. It's Isaiah thirteen verse fifteen. Uh -huh. Every one that is found shall be thrust through. Right. So in that day, right, if you still joining hand in hand with the so-called white man and the China man and East Indian, right, read. It says, and every one that is joining to them shall fall by the sword. Right. Their children shall also be dashed to pieces. Right, so all you people, right, you so-called blacks and the Spanish, right, mainly you women who want to join hand in hand with the so-called white man, you want to have his babies, right, read. It says, their house, lucky. their children also shall be dashed to pieces. Right, so the Lord gonna put the judgment on somebody to come in and to put your children to death, man, read. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. And look, so all hell is going to break loose in that day for all you so-called black women who want to give it to damn white man for your financial and economical benefit, man. The Lord going to put you to death. Read. That's right. It says, Behold, I will stir up the needs against them, uh -huh. which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Right, because all you so-called blacks and Spanish, right, you, you think money going to save you, right? The Lord not going to give it down by money that day, man. Money not going to stop a nuclear missile from hitting you goddamn in your face, man. Read. It says, their bows shall dash, it's like it, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, uh -huh. and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Right. Their eyes shall not spare children. Uh -huh. Keep going. In Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellencies shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, to sum it all up, Vladimir Putin is getting ready to drop a big nuke right here in America, man. That's For right. all these so-called blacks and Hispanics, they want to rebel against the Lord God, man. Let me get a few more, I'll be done. Give me that. This is the book of Second Map, Gibbies, chapter 4, verse 15. Right. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Right, because so-called blacks and Hispanics, you don't like the honor of your fathers, man. You don't want to keep Passover. You don't want to keep a Saturday day, man. Right? You don't want to wear fringes. You don't want to stop eating pork, sugar, crab, and lobster. You don't want to do the honor to your forefathers, but you want to be like who? Read. But liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Right, but you like the glory of the Grecians, man. You so called black to the Spanish, you love the ways of the white man. You love the ways of the white man to so much what you would dis you would disregard your brothers says come out here and try to teach you the words of the Lord so that I might be saved, man. 
one of y'all take a flyer real it's just a piece of paper man and show that our people don't love god and no give a damn about god man give me the book of um psalm chapter um no give me zach right i'll make this my last one zach right chapter 7 and verse 11 finish it out that was it that's it um no keep going keep going verse 16 by reason whereof sore calamity came upon them right and that's how sore calamity fall on you so-called blacks and hispanics man why because you don't do what god says so he let anything and everything happens until you until you get right read for they had them to be their enemies uh -huh. and avengers whose customs they followed so earnestly right and you follow the white man customs so earnestly man all you so-called blacks and hispanics you don't know where saint patrick they come from but you'll celebrate it you don't know where these zodiac, zodiac signs come from, but you would judge your whole attitude based off the damn month you was born in, man. Right? You, you follow the so-called white man customs to a point, you just disrespect the, the Lord God of your forefathers, man. Um, drop that. Let me get to the last one. I'll be done. Read. Come on. This is Book of Zechariah, uh, chapter 7, verse 9. Uh -huh. It says, so verse 8, And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts. Execute. No, it's like in my bad. Verse eleven. Verse eleven. Uh -huh. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder uh -huh. and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Right, and that's what you do, man. You stop your ears that they should not hear, man. And the brother asked, well, "Who's a um?" The brother asked the Taj Rob, "You were telling a woman not to eat pork, and yeah. as soon as oh, you yeah, said yeah. that, she want to go off and run up, so she she don't have, no, so she said she had an excuse, man. Right. But you close your ears, you close your eyes when it comes to the words of the Lord. Read." Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Right, adamant stone is a hard material, man. But yet the Lord said he made your hearts, what's that, your mind? You made it as hard as an adamant stone, man. You hard-headed according to the Bible. Read. Lest they should hear the law in the words which the Lord of hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Uh -huh. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Right, come a great wrath. That's when slavery come, the so-called white man come over here, rape, rob, and murder. I'm um, holding, I'm getting a little bit more. All because the great wrath, because what? When the Lord tried to um, um, help you, when the Lord sent out prophets to tell you so-called blacks and Spanish to repent, you say, F you, Lord, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And that's why you're in this position that you're in this first place, read. Therefore it has come to pass that after, Slaki, that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and they would not hear, right. said the Lord. So all you so-called blacks of the Spanish that don't want to take a fire, that don't want to hear the words of the Lord, in that day you're going to be crying out to God, man. Right. And just how God cried out to you, and you didn't want to hear, you're going to cry out to God, and he's not going to hear. Read. But I scattered them with the whirlwind among all the nations, uh -huh. whom they knew not, thus the land was desolate after them. Right, so with that, I give all honor and glory to you. How about she, y'all? Shout and say shalom. Shalom. Lee was lawfully. Can't fuck with lie, you niggas, cause you niggas moving softly. If you don't keep the law, then you can back the hell up off of me. Can prove we the Israelites through this archaeology. Israel, we on top. You can see it through biology. They do not understand, cause they know nothing yes, about the prophecies. It. No, I do not want to hear about your theology. How can I listen to someone teach no wrong Christology? Oh. On them street corners, yelling out, where the BCV. Uh -huh. Ain't no John Cena nigga, cause you can come see me. If you ain't an Israelite, then you ain't kin to me. And if you don't come from Jacob, nigga, use the enemy. That's right. On them street corners, yelling out, where the BCV. Ain't no John Cena nigga, cause you can come see me. If you ain't an Israelite, then you ain't kin to me. And if you don't come from Jacob, nigga, use the enemy. Give me Ezekiel chapter 33. Let's it go out. into the word. I'ma give you what you see. Yeah. When my brother yeah. bring it out. It can make a nigga bleed On the other hand, it'll give you hope if you take heed I'ma cut your head off if you not from Jacob C How I'm standing on business, stand firm like a tree Make it racks, run it up, baby like it on my bling Body back of eat mic, like. where he stand is why I leave now Give me Ezekiel chapter 37 Let me show you how to use the scriptures as a lethal weapon Lay my life down for my brother on the heat and not be stepping Cause we going through the curses, but we about to get the 